Two precious points, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly what Royal Challengers Bangalore grabbed on this Wednesday night. And it could be a night where their fans take a cup and say, you know what, Isala Cup Namde? I mean, at the end of the day, it's a red cup and we have Sabah here. Let me just... It's, it really tastes sweet, Sabah. How's that for a start? God, man, you want to rub it in, isn't it? <laughs> But my prediction also came true, by the way, Avnish. I was also Absolutely. for RCB, so I'm pretty happy at least one of my predictions should come uh, came true today. No, I mean, I completely get that. It was just uh, tongue-in-cheek for me. But uh, the matter of fact is that they've gone on 14 points now, Sabah. And RCB, I mean, maybe they're a win away from really getting that cue next to their name because we've never seen 16 points not go through historically. What are your takeaways from the game? I know it was a missed opportunity from Rajasthan, but I mean, Royal Chances Bangalore were absolutely brilliant, right? This was more about RCB, Avnish, and I thought this was a very comprehensive, a very facile win for RCB. And this is yeah. the kind of tonic RCB needs if they want to qualify for the playoffs and also go on to win the championship. Um, so, yes, I think this makes them extremely strong contender. They've got the right kind of resources now, and all of them, uh, whom they had banked on at the beginning of the season, most of them are performing, and that's what you need to win a, a, a T20 game or, or to win a tournament. So you have um, you know two players at the top in good form, Padikar and Virat Kohli. And then Glenn Maxwell, they have, they have started utilizing him in a much better way. He comes in at number four, and then they've got ABD Willis coming in at number five. Uh, they, have, they have pushed uh, KS Bharat up the order at number three, uh, who is a very able wicket keeper batsman. Um, he's got very few chances in the IPL over the past several years. But he's been in and around the national, the national so-called reckoning for the for the for the national team, and um, you know finally when he has got this chance to play for RCB, he has done exceedingly well for them coming in at number three, which is not an easy position to bat. So for RCB management to um, to, to to show that kind of trust in KS Bharat um, gives us the feeling that um, he has been doing quite well even in the practice sessions or whatever practice game that KS Bharat has played. So I think overall, um, this is the right kind of um, you know pick for um, uh, for RCB. And as I said, I think they're banking on the right kind of players who are performing well for them. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head there because RCB fans would know best, Sabah. At the end of the day, we've just had a couple of Indian batsmen who've been doing well for us. And now there's another in the mix, which is K Bharat. And he, I think he played really sensibly, calculated risks and whatnot. Uh, from a Rajasthan Royals perspective, the wheels seem to be coming off for them. I mean, what is it about Rajasthan Royals? Because they really cocked up a chase against Delhi. And today, again, tactics were all over the place. Yes, and more so when you um, see the kind of start they got. Even Lewis yeah. and uh, Yashashwi Dan Jaiswal, they put on 77 on board. Um, they were on their way to score at least 170, 180. But yeah, they were 101 after 11 overs. Yes, and the middle order collapse when you know the entire side crumbled. Their uh, young batters have, have not done well. The overseas pro, including Liam Livingston, didn't score runs again today. Sanju Samson, um, unfortunately, he got out. Uh, but I think without him, uh, you know, propping up the middle order, it seems the other batters are not are not are not up to the mark. And I think that is one reason why again they fell short by at least 20, 25 runs. I would say that. Um, so I think below par score on a track that is conducive for batting. Um, you're up against a strong batting unit like RCB. It was very difficult for them to uh, to, to survive in there, and I think to um, to get into a position where they can where they can create some kind of an upset against RCB, especially when you're defending such a, a small score, is not so easy. And I think that's what transpired in the end. Yeah, and talk about collapses. It was a royal collapse, if I can say so, from a Rajasthan perspective. They lost 53 balls in the innings. 49 runs for eight wickets. I mean, just just goes to show you how well RCB and came back. The first time also, Avnish, this happened on several occasions for Rajasthan Royals. Except yeah. if you take out Sanju Samson, there's hardly been any noteworthy performances uh, from the batting lineup. So I think that tells us the whole story about Rajasthan Royals' struggle so far in the IPL. Yeah, but what is a noteworthy performance is yours against the Critletics Man versus Machine Robot. <laughs> because I'll tell you what you've done. You have conjured up a two-two draw. From this oh, one, some fantastic predictions you've got, right? Maybe some people in the comments would say that it was blatant obvious, but Sabah uh, stuck his head out for a few and got one or two wrong, but we'll yeah, run through yeah, them but, first. But you know what, Avani, you possibly can't blame him. I had I, gone for Virat Kohli, but yeah. I think you know, you, you want to put um, blame Virat Kohli for getting run out like that. 
I mean, why yeah, would you yeah, he, he was smoking it. He was absolutely <laughs> smoking it before getting run up by Riyad yeah, Baral. But uh, the critics machine went for Samson and you went for yeah. Kohli. I want to talk to, I mean, about Maxwell here. I know ultimately it was Evan Lewis who top scored in the match. But Glenn Maxwell, and we can put up the stat of the day right now. And you love this stat, Saba, because ultimately 350 runs is what he scored this season. And this is now the most prolific IPL season since 2014. The campaign in which Maxwell, of course, amassed 552 runs for Kings Lemp and Job. So he's, of course, taken to RCB really well. So good signs ahead, I'm guessing. Huge bonus for RCB, um, especially um, the kind of player Glenn Maxwell is and the kind of number he comes into bat. Um, he holds the entire middle order together. And I think he's relishing um, the kind of responsibility that, that has been entrusted on him. And I think RCB have gone the, the Australian cricket way. The way Australian cricketers or the Australian management have handled um, Glenn Maxwell in, in white ball cricket, I think they've taken a leaf out of that. And that is how um, uh, RCB have been able to handle uh, and, and to get the best out of Glenn Maxwell. So I think he's enjoying his stint with RCB. And all this really bodes very well for RCB going um, going into the playoffs. I think as soon as they, I'm, I'm sure they will qualify now. And I think um, uh, they would need Glenn Maxwell to fire now. Um, you know, going into the playoffs and even the qualifiers. Yeah, we saw that last time out as well with uh, the ball at hand yeah. chipped in. Uh, speaking of which, the bowlers, you went for Harsha Patel and so did Critlytics. This was where it became 1-1. I mean, Harsha Patel, now he has officially taken the most amount of wickets for RCB in a season. Uh, three is what he got today. A word of the man, because I know you spoke richly about him in the preview, but again, he's turned up good. Yeah, very smart and very intelligent bowler, um, Avnish. I think, um, you know, he has been around domestic cricket for several years. Yeah. Um, he was waiting for a chance for or for an opportunity like this to showcase his talent in the IPL. Um, there was a trade-off between Delhi Capitals and uh, RCB. Um, so, Delhi Capital, he wasn't getting getting an opportunity to play in the 11. RCB managed to uh, get him in the squad and then um, uh, they have pushed him up front. Um, he's one bowler who's capable of bowling with the new ball. Plus, with his variations, plus with his with his cutters, he's, he's extremely dangerous in the middle overs as well as in the in the death overs. So you have, if you have someone like Harshal Patel who happens to be a multi-dimensional bowler in terms of bowling in different phases of the game, um, then you know that really uh, sits well with any side. And I think that is why RCB um, has been served very well with because of Harshal Patel's ability uh, to pick up wickets at the right time. And I think Harshal Patel, because of the kind of experience he's had. Uh, from domestic cricket and all that has really helped him to do well in even, even in IPL. Yeah, and some say that he's bowled the critical overs and hence gets all the wickets, but he still needs to have the ticker to get it right, and he certainly did. And finally, it became 2-2 in terms of predictions between you and the machine. You both called RCB. You were perhaps tempted to go against the machine purely because of me in the mix of all of it, but you stuck to RCB. So where does it uh, shape out from here? I mean, RCB, of course... Aiming for that sweet 16, like I said, RR, do they still have a shout or do you think it's all kind of gone with it? I think it's maybe they may be dependent on how the other sides fare, but I think it's, it's, it's kind of all over now for Rajasthan Royals and, you know, Sunrisers. So I think yeah. in the fray, I see the top three teams qualifying, which is Chennai Super Kings, um, Delhi Capitals, RCB. And I think there'll be a strong fight between... Uh, you know, maybe um, KKR is, is is another potential side to um, to qualify for the playoffs. I think these are the um, you know one or two sides that will um, fight for uh, for the fourth position uh, in the in, in going going into the qualifiers. Avnish. Super, Sawa Karim has always been a pleasure to chat cricket with you and of course discuss IPL reviews and previews. And you guys can catch all of it in Cricket.com's YouTube channel and of course the app which is simple to download on both iOS and Android platforms. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Much appreciated. And it's a goodbye from Saba and me as well. Thank you.